Hello and welcome to this presentation about religious studies at St Patrick's in Stage 6. My name's Louise East, I'm the Religious Studies Coordinator and I'll be explaining the choices that your daughter has in terms of their subject selection for 2021. At St Patrick's, Studies of Religion is a compulsory course. So that means your daughter will need to choose between Studies of Religion 1, which is a one unit course, or Studies of Religion 2, which is a two unit course. Being enrolled at a Catholic school, it is essential that your daughter studies religion from year seven to year 12. And while this course does involve the study of other religions, it is the course that we offer. We don't offer any alternative courses, such as studies in Catholic thought. Um, so these are essentially the two courses that your daughter must choose between. So Studies of Religion 1 is a board developed Category A course, as is Studies of Religion 2. Uh, they both have the same course description in terms of what they aim for or what they promote. So it is hoped that by studying religion and a variety of religious traditions that your daughter will build an understanding and critical awareness of the nature and significance of religion and also the influence of belief systems and religious traditions on individuals and within society. So this is an aim that we believe is important and hence why we offer this course. The one unit course in terms of its duration being a one unit course is 60 hours in prelim and HSC years. And what that equates to for the girls in terms of the timetable here are three 77 minute periods per 10 day cycle. There are no prerequisites and there are no exclusions except for studies of religion two, which makes sense. You can't do studies of religion two if you are doing studies of religion one. In terms of the structure of the course for studies of religion one, we have one core topic and we have two options. So in prelims, the girls learn about the nature of religion, the different characteristics of religion, the way it influences society and individuals, and they also examine Aboriginal spiritualities. And then we choose two religious traditions that they study and they learn the, the basic information that will give them the foundation that they need for the HSC course. So at St Patrick's it makes sense that one of the religious traditions we study is Christianity. And then the other option that we choose is Islam, which we believe fits in nicely with our multicultural context. And there are lots of benefits for the student and society in terms of learning about Islam. Then in the HSC uh, year, you can see that the structure is very similar. We have a core topic and then we have uh, a topic again that builds on the knowledge learnt in the prelim year. So we, we go into more depth in terms of Christianity by looking at a person, a practice and a topic of ethics. And then we do the same for Islam. We have a deeper learning in terms of a person, a practice and a study of one ethical area. So there are three topics in the prelim course and there are three topics in the HSC course. For studies of religion two, you can see again that it is a board developed category A course. It's just that it's two units instead of one. It is double the amount of course time. It is double the amount of topics. The course description is the same. And I should have mentioned earlier that being a category A course, these uh, courses will contribute to an ATAR if your daughter decides that they, they are going to get an ATAR these courses will contribute to that. Um, so you can see there that the duration is twice the amount which equates to double the amount of periods in a fortnight. So instead of three 77 minute periods, your daughter will see their teacher six times. There are no prerequisites. And of course, the obvious exclusion is studies of religion one. In terms of the course structure, you can see here that it is twice the amount of topics as I've said and you will notice that the same topics that were studied in one unit are also studied in two units. The difference is there are three additional topics in the prelim course. You'll see that 
religions of ancient origin and a history topic giving the context for the HSC course is studied in the prelim year and then we learn one extra or your, your daughters will learn about one extra religious tradition. So in the one unit course they would study Christianity and Islam. If they choose two units they will learn about an additional religious tradition which is Judaism and then you can see that reflected in the HSC topics. So you can see that third religious tradition depth study where we will study a person, a practice and an area of ethics for Judaism. And then you will notice that there are two other common topics. One is called religion and non-religion and the other one is religion and peace. So you can see that there are six topics in the HSC year and in the prelim year for two units. Assessment information. This may help your daughter decide which course she would like to do. In the prelim year, there's really no difference in the demands of, of either course. Both have three internal assessment tasks and they're fairly similar in their nature. However, in the HSC course, it needs to be made clear that in terms of internal assessment, what we do here at school, there is one extra task for two unit and that does include the trial. So Studies of Religion 1 has three internal assessment tasks, including the trial and Studies of Religion 2 has four internal assessment tasks, including the trial. The other difference to keep in mind is the HSE exam itself. For one unit students, they will sit uh, an exam of 1.5 hours in length and for two unit students, they will sit an exam of three hours. It is essential double the amount of questions of each type. So both exams will have multiple choice, short answers, structured responses and essays. So the writing demands for two unit are significantly higher in that exam as is the, the mastery of content. So which studies of religion course is the most suitable course for your daughter? The decision will come down to a number of factors and I'd like to stress the first one which is level of interest. So your daughter should choose two units of SOR if they have a genuine interest in, in religion, especially other religions. Another factor is academic ability. So given that I've made clear that studies of religion two is more demanding in terms of the number of topics that are studied, the examination preparation required, the extra assessment tasks that are completed, the higher demands in terms of writing, it's my recommendation that students should only be choosing two unit if they're doing well in their humanities courses. So they should really be getting B grades or higher in English, religious studies or HISI uh, to consider taking on two units of studies of religion. The other factor that will influence the decision is what other courses your daughter chooses because the subjects have to fit on the time timetable and the lines created. So if your daughter is planning on choosing an extension subject like English Extension 1 or Maths Extension, then they will be restricted to choosing Studies of Religion 1, which isn't a problem because we do quite well in both courses. The other thing to consider is that if your daughter chooses Studies of Religion 1, they want to do one unit, then they will need to choose another course that is one unit to fill up their lines. So there are several options. I've got them listed there. They include SLR, exploring early childhood and photography among others. So there are a number of factors to consider in this decision. So the following slide recaps and summarizes the key differences between the two in terms of how many periods of cycle, how many topics, how many religious traditions, the exam length, the nature of the exam and the amount of the assessment tasks. So these are the key differences. There's no real difference in terms of difficulty other than there is more to study, there is more to master and there are higher demands in terms of writing. So thank you for watching this presentation and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.